yeah, 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 yeah. And they say, let's go to the market. Yes. Hey, check pay, the market. Pay attention. Check the markets. What is the first metal they start with? Gold. Gold. Per ounce. Not per gram. An ounce is smaller than a gram. Per ounce. They'll say it's 1,900 US dollars. Per ounce. You never meet gold on the road. Since you started driving. You have never met a car on the road carrying gold bars. Never. Of all the hastes that you have done. <laughs> of all the hastes that will be done. No one will hit a, a, a vehicle carrying gold. No, it doesn't move on the road. Gold from the mine goes on top to a helipad. Yes. It gets into a helicopter. It flies to the vaults in a, on another helipad. It comes from the top down <laughs> into the vaults. You won't meet it on the road. That's how precious it is. And God created it. Before he even created, created you. So don't fight money. No. Don't waste your time. Even the day we bury you, if a 200 rand note falls while your coffin is going down, we'll say, stop it, stop it, stop it. <laughs> no, we will take out the man. You. You. <laughs> Why do we take it out? Because, look, you, you have become dysfunctional now. <laughs> but this is still what? Work. When rest from your labor. But this one is still wet. <laughs> so you need money. God says, God says, He says to Moses, listen, when I take you out of Egypt, you will not go empty handed. Starting Genesis 15, when He's talking to Abraham, I think 15 17, He says, Your people shall be slaves. But when they leave, they will come out with a great possession. Are you with me? So they are in Egypt. Genesis 3.21, it says, I'll grant you favor. I mean, Exodus 3.21, I'll grant you favor. You will collect from the Egyptians. Exodus 12.35, the day of departure, before Joshua blew the trumpet, the Bible says, and they did according to the instruction of Moses. They went to the Egyptians. And collected gold and what? Silver. They where are they going? They are going to the land of milk and honey to the promised land. But they are not going there empty handed. They are not going there empty handed. It's improper to say we are going to heaven. And your pockets are empty. <laughs> no, it's improper. They are not going there empty handed. Their pockets are full. They have collected. The, you remember they were not paid for 400 years? No. They have collected all the salaries, the bonuses, the pensions, the benefits, everything. Even the retirements of those who died, they collected everything. <laughs> They are going to the land of milk and honey. There is already milk and honey there. But their carts and pockets are full of gold. You go to the Egyptian museum. Egypt is the only country that ruled itself for 3,000 years. Only. You cannot start the Bible. In fact, you, if you remove the word Egypt from the Hebrew Bible. Is this a Bible? Yeah. You see this Bible? If you remove the word Egypt from this Bible, this Bible collapses. It has no story. I'm serious. You remove the word Egypt from here, this book will be meaningless. This one. Prove me wrong. Because when God talks to Israel, his credentials, Egypt is part of God's CV. Yes, he 
becomes like any other God. Yes. If he can't go to say, I am the Lord your God. Yes. Who brought you out? Yes. Out of slavery, out of what? Yes. Because it took divine power yes. to move from Egypt. Yes. 